1947 S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 68 full bands by NGC. This issue is plentiful in Mint State through the grade of MS-67, but but FT examples are a small minority of the total number of survivors. The typical 1947 S-dime is softly struck from heavily worn and blurry dyes. Such dyes were often repolished to remove their erosion lines, and this resulted in proof-like coins having very shallow or partially effaced features. A nice DDR variety is known, but the blurriness of many 1947 S-dimes may make this difficult to discern. More popular are the several RPMs, which are all of the trumpet tail as this MS-68 FB specimen was sold for $1,680. 1964 D. Jefferson Nickel with Repunched Mint Mark D over D. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. This cherry picker's variety shows the mint mark repunched south. The repunching is clear with a loop but may escape detection by the unaided eye. Each side is brilliant and satiny, with slight reflectivity discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibit the typical softness, this coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. It was sold for $19,800. 1938 D. Lincoln sent with vivid toning. This nice specimen was graded as MS-65 red and brown by PCGS. 1938 D. Scents were very well made, and mint state examples are almost always sharply struck from dyes that show no more than moderate wear. Fully red gems are slightly scarcer than for most scents of the late 1930s, but not enough to make them rare. Several minor varieties are known for this issue, but the only one to draw much collector interest is listed at left. It this beautifully toned specimen ended up selling for $504 on January 8, 2024. Tone 1952 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by NGC. According to Grading Service, the production of quarter dollars at the Philadelphia Mint was lower than that of the Denver facility, and this set the pattern for many years to come. Not only was America's population center moving westward, but Denver was being asked to pick up the slack caused by the limited size and production capability of the San Francisco Mint. 1952 P quarters are plentiful in Mint State, but top-notch gems are a bit scarce. The overall quality of Philadelphia Mint products was lacking a bit, due in part to the budget constraints that caused overuse of the dyes. This highly elusive top-graded specimen ended up selling for $1,260. Attractively toned 1963 Franklin Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 Plus by PCGS. A registry-grade example of this final year Denver issue, showing vivid sun orange, amber, violet, and ocean blue toning over each side. The strike is sharp and original, frosty luster dazzles the eye. Reverse side comes with full bell lines. It ended up selling for $7,200. 1964 D. Roosevelt Dime with Attractive Toning. Graded as MS-67 FB by PCGS. FB stands for Full Bands Designation, indicating the fully struck motifs of the torch on the back side of the coin. According to Stax Bowers, dominant charcoal copper obverse toning yields to splashes of more vivid gold, blue and pink iridescence toward the lower right border. Untoned on the reverse, with smooth surfaces and billowy mint frost throughout. It ended up selling for $920. 1963 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. Exquisite toning is the hallmark of this beautiful superb gem. Waves of lime green, crimson, magenta and green gray flow across each side, as splendid full luster illuminates the rainbow of colors. Lustrous and beautiful with a bold strike. Only minor contact on the right obverse field precludes perfection. It was sold for $16,100. Slightly rainbow tone 1943 Jefferson Nickel. Graded as MS-68 by NGC with star designation. According to grading service, why the mintage of 1943 D. Nichols was relatively low is a mystery, but most likely the Denver Mint was directed to focus on other denominations that year. In any case, this issue is plentiful across all but the highest grades. Like most Denver Mint coins of the war years, it is of superior workmanship when compared to those of the other mints. Gems having either 5FS or 6FS are likewise plentiful. There are over a dozen repunched mint mark varieties, all of them minor, as well as minor double die varieties for both sides. None of these varieties carry noticeable premiums. This elusive specimen was sold on January 8, 2024 for $1,320. 1911 Lincoln sent in Mint State 67 plus red. The Mint manufactured in excess of 101 million cents in 1911, yet only 27 submissions have qualified for the MS-67 and MS-67 plus red level at PCGS with just single finer. Finely textured fire orange surfaces are virtually mark-free, save for a single tick on the 0 and 1. Detail is pinpoint sharp. 
It was sold for $22,800. 1983 D. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 FB by PCGS. FB standing for full bands. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of November 2023, a Roosevelt dime from 1983 in circulated condition is worth between 15 cents and 35 cents. However, on the open market 1983D dimes in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $300. But this MS67 gem with full bands was sold for $1,968.75 with buyer's fee. This is 1966 Kennedy half dollar from Special Mint Set. Graded in MS68 condition with deep cameo condition. A truly remarkable example of both the type and issue, both sides are fully untoned with bold field to device contrast. Virtually pristine, as well, and sure to catch the eye of discerning Kennedy half dollar collectors. Although the mint improved the quality of the 1966 SMS half dollar issue after receiving complaints about its 1965 SMS predecessor, precious few survivors from a mintage of 2,261,583 pieces exhibit enough contrast to support a deep cameo designation from PCGS. This gem was sold for $7,200. 1943 D. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark D over D. He mint mark is boldly repunched on this variety which is scarce in all grades and rare at the superb gem level. This piece is among the finest examples attributed at PCGS. Brilliant, pristine luster illuminates satiny surfaces and sharp design elements. No impairments are seen. It was sold for $12,000.